guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm vlogging today. I've got a couple of things planned over at the Trafford Centre. They've got some kind of like refashioned event going on to do with promoting secondhand shopping and sustainability in fashion and there's um, a couple of talks going on, a couple of fashion shows. It should be just a really good interactive day. So I thought I'd pop along anyway um, when I first heard about it. And then they actually got in touch and said, oh, do you fancy coming down? And I was like, oh, I was planning on coming anyway. So I'm going to head over there this morning. The first section I'm going to head to is a, I think it's like a stand called Second Life or something. They're basically, I think they tour the UK and they do buy the kilo load you pay for thrifted items. So there's loads of rails of secondhand items and you pay per kilo. So they like weigh all the items that you choose and then you can pay at the end. So I thought that was a really good concept anyway. And there was also another one that I wanted to go to, which they very kind of gave me a ticket to and it's at John Lewis and it's with, in partnership with Smartworks, which, which is a charity. I've heard of Smartworks before, so I am aware of it. But if you're not, it's basically, to do with empowering women in business and trying to help them get on their feet in terms of getting them set up for the correct attire, the professional attire for interviews, helping them achieve um, getting jobs and things. And then there's a couple of bits that I want to get from Trafford Centre, so I might do a little bit of shopping with you. So yeah, I thought it'd be a good fun day overall. I am feeling a bit run down. Anyone else feeling a bit like, I think it's the seasonal change. Tom's been ill for the last few days and I was like, it's impending. If he's ill, sod's law, I'm gonna get it. So I think he was just like full of cold last week. And um, yeah, I woke up this morning with a little bit of a groggy throat and just, I can feel it coming. So I'm gonna have a lemon sip this morning. Crack on, um, I am going to do a bed sheet changing day because I feel like that always helps me, I don't know, refresh and reset. So I have stripped the bed this morning and I am so happy to announce that this video is in partnership with Emma. So my Emma mattress, we have had for um, a while now and they have a couple of different ones on their website, but we've got the premium option. It is so comfy and has lasted us so well so far that I am more than happy to work with them on today's video and also give you guys a discount code which is Freya Dream that will get you an additional 5% off um, current promos that they are running on their website so be sure to check out the link in my description box kind of coincidentally I don't know but myself and Tom we both have like pelvic misalignment which we discovered like a long time ago which essentially means that we can get bad back pain and um, having this mattress has definitely helped there's nothing worse I mean you spend a lot of time in your life in bed sleeping so there's nothing worse than having an uncomfortable bed and this is so comfy it's supportive for our back and it's just quite frankly an essential for us to have a comfortable mattress and the great thing about it is they do have up to 200 days free trial sleep period whereby if you decide it's not for you you can send it back they do also have free shipping free returns and you do get a 10 year warranty as well which is incredible also i will just note the covers on the mattress are re um like you can take them off and wash them really easily it's the sort of mattress that dynamically adapts to like suit your body and the position that you're lying in so if you're like rolling over in the night the other person isn't like going up like this because you're turning over and it also helps support that sleeping position so i will leave a link in the description box like i said to um for you guys to check it out and also don't forget to take advantage of that discount code where you can get an additional 5% off. Thank you to Emma for working with me on today's video. Now time to pop some bedding in the wash, get changed, get ready for the day and head over to the Trafford Centre. Oh, 
just sit with me Talking to the night until the morning Building chemistry I don't think I ever want to go Come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think We were meant to be You make me anxious I think I might be stuck on you Dropping clues. There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time. Dropping everything, cause you're stuck on my mind. My mind. So just sit with me, talking to the night and to the morning, building chemistry. I'm just coming out of John Lewis now for the SmartWorks talk, which is actually really insightful, all about their charity, how they work, and um, yeah, I found it really interesting. It's essentially a charity that helps get unemployed women kickstarted and set up for interviews and lining up jobs and getting employment, of which 75%, I think, in fact, 75% of women that come to them for the coaching and the styling. Um, they get employed which is amazing so I did get a little goodie bag in there which in fact I'll show you that when I get home um, I'm going to go now to I've been to the kilo sale that vintage sale which is good didn't pick anything up there were lots of like varsity t-shirts sweatshirts um, like champion feeler and all of that and there were a few things that I was tempted for, but I didn't end up going for anything. But whilst I'm here, there is a H&M home here. Um, so I feel like I might as well take advantage of that, have a quick look in there, and then I might go via the white company. I'm just looking at my head on, I feel a little bit shiny. <laughs> um, I might go via the white company, because I just can't resist a little browse in the white company. Okay, time to do some try-ons now. Love this jumper. Got it in a medium, $24.99. Do you know what I like about it? It's because high neck stuff I'm a bit usually fussy about, but because this has got a split on the neck, hopefully I'm gonna like the look of that and it not be too kind of like restrictive. I also love the thick ribbing around the bottom. Anyway, also got a jumper dress to try on, $29.99. Um, this jumper in a medium is only $17.99, just, I'm thinking, just a good basic. And then I did pick up this cardigan as well, $19.99, but there are quite a few pulls on it, so I'm not sure about that one. Staple pair of joggers, my absolute favourite pair are my H&M ones, but they're so old that they've shrunk a little bit in the wash, so I thought I'd pick up a new pair, $12.99. They're just at such a good basic. I'll leave all these linked below, but... I recommend anything is these joggers they're just so good they're cuffed at the bottom as well which I tend to roll up once and then this kind of Patagonia style jacket they had three colors they had like a mushroom color cream and then this khaki well I'm gonna say khaki but it's actually quite green in a medium $39.99 having looked at it now I'm thinking is that maybe a bit too green for me but let's try this one first this is what the coat looks like nice big herd There's something about having a big herd like even with my hair up it fits over this ponytail I'm happy um, I quite like this green now I'm still undecided I might go and have a look at the other colors as well but what do you think it's a bit more of a pop of color so this is what this jumper looks like I like it I don't love it I feel like the only thing that would put me off wearing it is that kind of scratchy feeling on my skin so I feel like I would have to wear this as a layer rather than on its own I'd wear a t-shirt underneath underneath this so that it doesn't scratch my skin but I do like the length of it and the fit of it and everything and maybe with jeans so I am thinking maybe winter as a layering jumper 
This is the sort of jumper that I'm in need of. I don't really have anything like this, but I'm always put off by the itchiness. Okay, this one I really like. I feel like that slit definitely um, helps a little bit. It is obviously still very much high neck though, but I love the bottom. I love that kind of high dramatic slit and perfect with leggings exactly how I've got it on now with chunky trainers just for a casual day shopping yeah a fan of this one. I think $24.99 I imagine something like this in the white company selling for a lot more than $24.99 this was the only one that I was like mm, not sure about a few pulls and stuff <laughs> I love this one I really like it I feel like I've got cardigans similar to this that are longer so to have a shorter version like this um, would just be a nice addition into my wardrobe love the long sleeves for this you know it's only a medium but just makes it feel really cozy. Pockets for biscuits. <laughs> um, yeah, really, really happy with this one. And this one's a gorgeous fabric. If all jumpers were made in this fabric, then none of them would be scratchy. Cute, I love this one. I like how it's quite weighty and it just sits really nicely. Um, again, it's got the side splits on both sides. I probably wear my Vasia trainers rather than these ones, although they do kind of go. I just feel like Vasia trainers work better with a knit dress. And again, nice long sleeves. It's a lovely colour. I feel like this is similar to the other H&M one that I have, but um, but a different material and a different colour. So ignore that. Same fit, but different. <laughs> same but same but different. Honestly, guys, I can't recommend these joggers enough. Twelve ninety nine. They're a little bit big on me, but because of the drawstring, you can cinch it right in. That's why I go for a medium. Um, I feel like I'd say an 8 to 10 goes small, but I'm sort of 10 to 12, so medium works better on me. I have just rolled up the bottoms as well. That's what they look like rolled down. Uh, but yeah, just such a good basic. With a white tee, I'd run out and about and do stuff in this, but then also, when I get back home, I'm putting these straight on. That is what's happening. Yeah, I'll link these exact ones below for you, because I know they've got um, a few different ones, but I'll make sure I link these ones, because these are the ones to get. You might not be able to tell, or maybe you come from my blazer. I have just got drenched. Look at these flyaways. <laughs> drenched in a downpour. This is why I shouldn't park outside in at, when I get to the traffic centre. Every time I always think, oh, it's such a good location, but then if it gets wet, I get wet. So this was needed. I feel like today just give me that kick of nutrition you know when you're feeling a bit run down when your body craves something healthy this is really good I go for the ginger I don't know what it's called ginger tonic I think with extra ginger oh, she was like do you want two or three pieces then I was like just the more the better she's like I hope it's gingery enough for you but it is perfect you know when you feel the burn then it's gingery enough for me look what i got in fact whilst we're sat in the car let's do a little unboxing shall we instead of doing it in my filming room all the time let's do it in the car first purchase washing up gloves lakeland have i've talked about these before actually the best washing up gloves you know you're an adult when you have a favorite pair of washing up gloves even the lady that was in there i just walked up the street and she was like can i help you i was out i'm just looking to pick up a pair of your washing up gloves she was like let me take you through once you try them you never go back do you and i was like yep so true um i've got a medium they're basically moisturizing they just don't leave you know when you get cheap washing up gloves and they leave your hands all clammy and gross well anyway these ones don't they are 4.99 each though and then our little goodie bag from john lewis we've got some samples in here so we've got some perfume samples the tent no, it's, it's not Tanty Doll. That's their foundation. It's just the E Doll. And then Alien Moogla. La Vie Belle. It's a classic. There we go. See? Tant E Doll. That's their um, foundation. This is one of my favourite foundations of all time for a more heavier coverage. Can you hear that rain? 
kind of like it just not when I'm in it um it's such a good foundation if you're after a medium to heavy coverage so I only tend to wear it on like nights out or if I'm going out for dinner or something but on an everyday basis I don't wear it a little nail file a super restorative day cream from Clarins, a little touche eclat and then hangover pillow balm oh I've never tried that should we try it I think whilst I'm here I might pop over to Costco because I need to get a new membership card you have to like take your photo every year and I need a new one. Oh, I like that we'll see how long it lasts it's really uh hydrating it's basically like a lip balm it's not it's not sticky or anything I'm gonna leave that in the car because it's always one of those things in the car that I feel like I like to have a uh, hand gel hand sanitizer chewing gum a water and then a lip a lip balm some kind of mint oh. i can't suck a tiktok 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 let's go to costco oh no i want to tell you about my favorite purchase that i got the big candles have gone up in price 65 pounds these candles are well worth it great for a gift idea i had a voucher very kindly for 50 pounds so i put some money towards it and i decided to treat myself to probably one of my favorite scents that the white company do ever 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 of all time and it's fir tree i do find that fir tree comes out obviously now towards christmas same with winter and fireside fireside is lovely too but fir tree just gets me especially when we've got the tree out because we have an artificial tree it just makes the whole room smell like a christmas tree oh i can't wait to get the balsam hill out anyway for now let's head over to costco 2 a.m in the car playing our favorite song turn it up windows down we sing along Summer night has just begun The moon is bright, let's have some fun Oh, this is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go it is tipping it down i've just got back home Ooh, i just like ran in the door grabbed tom's coat because i only have this blazer on i have no coat or hood or anything um oh, i don't want to take it off i did get these some autumn new ones actually from Krispy Kreme. Oops. Some eggs that I got from Costco. Neither of us are fancy in cooking tonight, so I'm just gonna throw this in the oven. Look at the size of that lasagna. <laughs> there there was mac and cheese, which I would have got, but Tom's not really like he's not that fussed for mac and cheese. And then the other one was, I think it was like a carbonara penne, but we had Tom's carbonara not too long ago, so we weren't feeling that. So lasagna it is um that just goes in the oven for like 40 minutes but for now we'll do a little taste test of all of these i did pick up a coffee as well actually let me go get that because i feel like it's needed if tom could see me now i really don't want to take this coat off it's so dark i feel like tonight is the perfect look at me putting a lamp on already it's the perfect excuse for a movie night I just feel like it's completely justified to have a good either series session which is usually the one that we opt for or a movie binge which we do want to start watching Harry Potter to make sure we've seen it in time for Christmas or after Christmas when we're going to Harry Potter world okay let's try these so this isn't no this is the Oreo like cookies and cream type one but they have these two which is caramel drizzle or maple drizzle something like that and then i think this one's just called cookies cookies and milk i don't know i feel like i prefer ring donuts but this does sound good so let's just do a taste i'll try and get that little bit here 
with a bit of crumb, cookie crumb. Oh, it's chocolate filling on the inside. Which I didn't get any of. <laughs> mm, that bit on the top is delicious. It's like a... That little biscuit piece is covered in caramel. Let's try the caramel drizzle. Crispy creams are far too easy to eat. Even though they're really sweet and sickly, especially the original glaze, I swear I could have about three in one go. And then last but not least, cookies and cream. Cookies and cream? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Mmm. That will last me for a couple of hours before I um, go pick up Barney from daycare. I feel like he is going to be absolutely drenched through. When I picked him up last time from daycare, they said to me that they um, they send you photos and videos throughout the day. It's so cute. But they said to me when I picked him up, they were like, it's been tipping it down all afternoon and we're all inside and on the cameras because they've obviously got all the CCTV and everything like that set up. They said they saw one dog going zoomies outside, like, because they can go in and out as, as and when they choose. And everyone's in from the rain, apart from Barney doing zoomies outside, <laughs> getting absolutely drenched. So considering it's been raining all day today, I have zero faith that he has been cozied up inside. He'll have been outside in that all day. I just know him. He'd be an outside dog if he could. He'd just live out there. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to sip on this coffee, get on with some editing this afternoon and that's pretty much my day i thought i might have had some shopping bits to share with you in a bit of a haul section but you know what i've just not really seen anything other than what i showed you in the car my new white company candle i'm excited for but i am going to put it to one side for now um before christmas i think i'll get that out when the christmas tree comes out which is usually early november mid november i've got an idea with november to do my first week um of november to do it just gift guide videos with loads of different ideas i'm thinking for pets i'm thinking for him for her stocking fillers secret santas gifts for couples maybe so yeah i'm gonna do a whole week full of gift guides so i'm just starting to plan for that now so my mind is very much in the christmas mode but um yeah starting early with my first christmas purchase a fur tree candle from the white company anyway i think i will maybe take a trip to b&m over the weekend i've seen that they've got quite um a lot of new bits in so um let me know if you want me to vlog that and i'll um i'll be sure to do so and I'll maybe do a haul if i do pick up some bits because, um, yeah, I'm loving B&M at the minute. I feel like their Christmas aisles, they've got loads of stuff out. Like, I'm thinking Christmas wrap. Like, I'm thinking, do we start a little bit of Christmas shopping? Uh, just a little bit. Because I don't want all the good stuff to go. There's some wrapping paper in there that I've already seen. And I've left in the past. And I thought, why have I left it? I need to just put it, get it and put it to one side for now. But anyway, so yeah, maybe like B&M video coming soon. Who knows? But that is going to conclude today's video this is literally just going to consume the rest of our afternoon with um with also like netflix i'm gonna go get my comfies on go get barney and that's pretty much it so i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video just a friendly reminder as well to make sure to take advantage of that discount code with emma if you want to try out their mattresses now is the time to do so because you can get that extra five percent off current promos that they've got I'll leave the link in the description box below for you guys to check it out. Thanks to them for working with me on today's video. Thanks to you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.